Hello and welcome back to Elliot's podcast. Right now I am in my original bedroom from when I was... <laughs> I I think I was pretty much born in this room. Uh, so it's nice to be able to do, do an episode here. The reason for why... Well, I'm, I'm dog-sitting, so I have Teddy and Sadie next to me on the bed. Hopefully they will behave. But I chose to record in this room because I, I set up a little mini <laughs> desk thing for the week that I've, I've been here. And the performance of today's episode will make use of the experiment that I've done. So just, just so you know, I have my multi-track this is being recorded into my multi-track recorder, which is called the Tascam DP008. And I really, really enjoyed this machine. It, it's really shown itself to be super handy and and musical, like when you work on music. So I set that up, and then I have this keyboard here called the Roland... Um, I'm, well, now that I'm tipping it, I might as well try to get the whole thing. It's the Roland JDXI which is meant to be a, I'm renting it, renting it just for the week. And it was meant to be something to kind of just work on some music here without needing my laptop. I don't, I don't like looking at my laptop anymore. So I think most people don't as well. So the, so that's what's happening. I could, I could talk a bit about that in a second, but I did want to talk about some sleep stuff and yeah, I really love the topic of sleep. And I was reminded of it because my friend, her name is Talia Shapiro. She recently launched a sleep coaching service. And I'll link to it because I I really want to support this this project that she's doing, it's this venture. So, and she wrote, she's wrote she been sending out some emails to kind of launch the, the business. And she said, you know, this email is not going to talk about sleepy time teas and nature sounds it's gonna like we talk about uh, a lot of ever <laughs> more important stuff was kind of the joke and I wrote her back I'm like well actually I want to talk about sleepy time teas and nature sounds because I actually really do have that would be my business <laughs> not hers she's trained in this this stuff I'm not I I, I like to operate as an my joke is I operate as an untrained professional in almost everything I do. And so I'm an untrained sleep professional. So why don't I take a sip of my, my tea? And I'll tell you what this tea is. So this is a chamomile. I, is, um, I bought a bag. This is a this was a big bag of chamomile for about 15 bucks. And it was it's gonna it's lasting a really long time. And it's good chamomile. And then I buy um, I buy licorice root in a it comes in a Ziploc bag so it looks like a some kind of drugs, and this was a three dollars and fifty cents for this licorice root. And then finally I I add in valerian root, which looks like a witch's hair. A nasty witch has okay so um, valerian root. By the way, I'm recording this on the iPhone. The video is is super crap, um, but I like I love crappy video. I think there's super there's a lot of power to crappy video. It's very refreshing to be able to do this, and you know the lighting is crappy in here. <laughs> I'm under a lamp, just in case you're only listening to this over audio. And so the valerian root is like this this it smells awful. It it smells disgusting and it looks gross. It looks like like bird poop like that's gone bad over a hundred years but v- the valerian root is is used so let's 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 give you a, some 411 about how i came up with this tea i actually stole it from david's tea it was called Pavarotti's like assistant was the name of the tea and they discontinued it and so i eventually found what the mo- the most of the ingredients were which was the chamomile licorice and i think valerian I think I copied it exactly, and so they discontinued it, but then I found my own, I found the <laughs> the materials, and the valerian root, so the the chamomile, you probably know that, it's it's kind of a nice floral 
tasting tea that's supposed to kind of make you sleepy, but I don't think chamomile on itself does, does that much to me. And then the licorice root is an earthy taste, so I really enjoy licorice root. It go, Licorice root also goes really well with peppermint tea. And licorice seems to go out well with every tea, and which is funny because I never really liked licorice in general because I, I, it reminds me of black licorice, which is disgusting for anyone born after a certain year. People born before a certain year love licorice. It was the candy of the 50s and 60s, I guess. And then eventually it just... I mean, when Nibs and Twizzlers came out with cherry, who would who would ever want to eat the bl- the black ones that <laughs> were licorice? So, anyways, the so licorice is for flavor, and then valerian you just add a little bit, a, a small pinch, because it it's the sleep aid in this tea. And uh, I've tried stuff with melatonin, where you I have a spray of melatonin, and it works really well. Um, but that is Sadie's snoring already. I wonder if she'll show up in the in the sound. Um, the 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 melatonin is so strong that it ge- it gives you a headache in the morning, and so that's pretty difficult to work around. So I don't. I think if you took it more often, you wouldn't get the headache. But I don't want a headache in the morning, <laughs> and the headache that it gives is like it stops you in your tracks. So. Um, valerian root actually works pretty well, but with all these things, you don't want to overdo them because like you might be become dependent on them. So that's my nighttime tea. And then, um, I have one more, one more thing. Oh yeah. The, 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 I wear, um, headphones sometimes. So... Like, like if you want, I actually f- saw some friends recently and it was quite nice that we all, I found out that I'm not the only one who started, to, a lot of people started going to bed a lot earlier during the pandemic because you might not have had plan- plans almost at all. So you could do it and it, it just made sense for a lot of people to just start going to bed a little earlier because everyone knew they needed to and it's, and we all knew that we weren't getting enough sleep. So I started to go to bed earlier, but the way to do that is you you have to like start to darken the room, like uh, darken your rooms earlier, like you know an hour hour and a half before bed. And the um, and then you my thing is like you want to probably get into bed. Um, probably as soon as possible but you don't want to you don't want to force yourself to sleep like that doesn't really work at all <laughs> and here's actually where talia one of talia's emails her or one of her blog posts came came back where she, this is more specific about something she would deal with is is like the screen time thing is pretty big for for people who are, who offer this service like professionally helping helping people who have bad sleep habits and and yeah, problematic. Like there's so many, so many factors in, in sleep. Uh, probably a lot of it is also involving stress as well. But her, one of her, e- her, her emails, um, talked about, uh, the screen time thing. So this one's kind of interesting because if you, you could probably read an iPad, an iPad with the black, like reading a book in the iPad with the black and white dark mode, but it's there's blue light coming through those those letters so um but i've been reading using my kobo which is like a kindle it was canada's answer to the actually a japanese company i think um was kobo and our our canada's bookstore indigo had paired up with kobo and so i was on the kobo train um, it actually still exists, but it Indigo got rid of it or something. Uh, so the the thing got sold. Anyways, do, we're not going to talk about Kobo, but I use that, and that has a light in it. Um, so I sometimes, and it's kind of convenient. Like both iPad and and e reader are actually convenient in bed because if I read a paper book, I have to attach the light, 
the book light over it and the and it falls over and stuff. So I don't love the ergonomics of of reading a book in bed, but I do know that it, um and also when I put a light on the the book, I the the night light that I have for reading turns uh, has a little yellow mode, so that's better. But I mean it's still a light like right in front of me. So either way, I think the act of reading left and right helps like <clears throat> um tire you out way more than like watching like watching a show does the opposite that's like full on blue light you know now people have nice TVs in their rooms and <clears throat> this might be a good time for some tea so you're you're watching TV and that's like the opposite but on the other hand TV is probably um you know, I think people preferred it's it's comforting for people, right, to be able to watch watch shows, and a lot of people like TV, so I don't really blame them. But that that that's not part of my sleep. I try to avoid watching shows. I mean, maybe if I I could watch some of those Planet Earth type things, um, even though they always, um. Are are about how we're just dist- <laughs> secretly about how we're destroying <laughs> the, the planet. <laughs> so don't I don't it can make you a little sad. Um, I was watching literally Planet Earth, and the first episode ends with with the your reminder about the ice caps melting. Um, so there's the but the the what I was getting at with this whole thing is is that. I I would much prefer to put on headphones and listen to relaxing music and I'll even listen to like I don't know if you if you've been reading about this but you probably noticed this but on Spotify on a lot of playlists there's a ton of fake artists cuz you'll go to a playlist and you're like who the hell are these people and it's really big in like sleep relaxation uh what else there's a few genres where like it's like it's flooded. The fake artists are basically they're like Swedish producers who who come up with these different aliases and they just make kind of generic music. And then um the then Spotify owns the companies that crank out these producers. So it's in Spotify's interest to put these mu- these songs on the playlists. But ev- you know what even even the ones that are full of these artists, though they're good enough for this purpose too, where you just kind of lay in bed in dark, try to get the lights low, put the, put that relaxing music on, and start to really, you know, I guess you'd connect with your breath a bit and and start to melt in, and you might even fall asleep with like after a few songs with the right playlist and and you've you've taken the lights down and everything so that's um that's just something to consider it's not a a prescription by any means it's everyone should do what they need to do to say like that i'm living in in alignment what with what i think is right but if you if you are not treating sleep well and you're yeah like some i i think i've talked about it before in this podcast people might they might be up late and whatever but then they they they'll sleep in so they're actually probably getting the right amount of sleep for them but if you know that you're just like not feeling right in the daytime and stuff like that the first um the first step is to to check like if you are if you're doing enough to kind of wind down and so i've i've joked with some friends that i believe that sleep for me is becoming a religion i i'm more like like there's ritual in the in the can you here let's let's put teddy on for a second He stopped. <laughs> He's chewing a toy. The second I put the microphone over him, he just became super quiet. Let's see. <laughs> it's becoming quiet when I um, yeah. It's the sleep is the is is like a. 
like in a religion, there's like, you know, in a in Jewish world, there's like kosher law. For me, I'm finding like sleep is the one that's like the law. <laughs> like, does this thing ruin my sleep? Does it, and by extension, does it make me out of sorts? And so I, t- I took a lot of time to really pay attention to to not just the nighttime stuff, but like daytime. I do a lot with also rem- um, uh, caffeine management. So it it's very normal that you you cut down on caffeine and then it creeps back in because of the headache stuff. I'm pretty sensitive to caffeine, so I get headaches if if I'm not if if I've cut it too quickly and then you're back on to the two cups of coffee a day. Never more than that for me, but that's part of it too. And also um if I can get get it done, a, a lunchtime nap, which is uh, what's good for that, is the Manta, any sleep mask, but the Manta. Hold on, let me get the Manta. Actually, I, I can't get the Manta because if I do, Teddy's going to get up and he's going to start to really re- get involved in this episode. But the Manta is a sleep mask that is... um covers your whole eye and it's it's kind of like a <clears throat> they're kind of a direct to, to consumer type brand you know in the same way like Allbirds is where well Allbirds actually now has a store in Toronto in the mall um, here he goes and and Allbirds is uh, a direct to consumer brand but Monta is a bit a lot smaller <laughs> than Allbirds <laughs> But Manta, I guess Manta, because it looks like a praying mantis is with with your eyes. You look like a bug. And they, oh, there he is. <laughs> so Manta has um, um, a, the sleep mask. And they also have ones that do like, what do they do? Um, like cooling and heating of the eyes. And so Manta is very nice for, I take this color off, it's jingling. Um, Manta is very nice for uh, the daytime because you can take a 10 minute power nap and, and it really helps to cover the eyes completely. Any sleep mask would, would do just fine too. But I think that that also helps, but you don't want to take a nap too late in the day. So I've talked about sleep before on this podcast, but I I couldn't I don't think I can talk about it enough really. And as I said, Talia reminded me. Plus, I was it's nighttime here, like, and I'm getting ready for for bed fairly soon. Um, but the podcast is sort of you, I can't I wouldn't be able to, to go to sleep without recording this first. Teddy, get off of that. And so, um. This yeah he he he's, he's you never know what the dogs get into right so the um yeah so just about this this la this track that I'm about to play so the vi- the third video is is the the final lake in my three lake series from my hiking trip and so last week was harness the week before it was provoking and the first night of our trip we stayed on a lake called Head Lake. So, um, this, this piece will, will have some reference to the name head in it. And the, this one was a nice lake where the campsite was kind of like, felt like a little bit like an island. And we, and we had a nice, it was our first night of the trip and it was clear skies and we saw the full stars and and actually the moon was in a little bit of a crescent to start out and then the moon kind of went over the trees because we were near the end of the um the moon was waning i believe it was early august so yeah there had been a full moon at the end of july and then that was waning and then that that moon within you know an hour or so it had gone over the trees and then there was like full stars and because the campsite as I said it felt like an island it wasn't one 
but you had like a very you could go to one side of the campsite and see like you know this 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 galaxy <laughs> whatever however the constellations work i don't i don't know but and my friends were able to actually get the iphone they have newer iphones and they're able to get them to um to, to get the stars mine mine can't do that but so this was the first night of the trip and I was obviously pretty tired from the hiking so I, I didn't I usually have trouble sleeping in tents but I didn't have it wasn't that bad um and I also by the way bring my sleepy teas on <laughs> made sure to have that uh, every night you know just because it's my ritual and so I had my sleepy tea and I, I went to sleep pretty well and then I was up um I get up really early anyway so to get up for the sunrise isn't really that hard um, but I just made it in time and I call, crawled out of my tent and this was the first morning. And so it was, um, I, I was a little rusty with getting stuff set up for, for recording. And, um, yeah, I got a really, some, a nice sunrise. So really short, like two minute, two, two minute clips. So I'll probably put them together with this piece and then, um, yeah, and then uh, th by the end of the trip, I was doing longer video, so I ha was able to get longer video. And then the last night of the trip, which was provoking, I got the longest video. And provoking is on Spotify now. There's a studio version if you like that episode. And there's a studio version. And then I will probably go ahead and in release the last two, the the last two tracks that I've done even though they're not like they're not like how do I put this like like I I'm I'm proud of the provoking my my iPhone's giving me a bedtime reminder um the provoking track is that was I have a studio version so whenever there's like a studio version I'm very confident when I put it on Spotify like that I, I'm okay with like people come to my profile they hear this but I'm trying to break I'm trying to break that type of uh, mentality a bit and be okay with rougher stuff because I think it's just as good and it has more character to it so the last two tracks don't probably have like super groomed studio versions so I want to put those up and then and then if there's a way to um, combine them into a little thing, like a little mini album, mini EP. Um, but this track will be definitely, I'm just giving you a heads up. The first two were very, um, oh, this iPhone. The first two were very, like one, the first one provoking super ambient. And the second one, Harness. Uh, more new agey like guitar well because i was experimenting with this keyboard which is it's it's uh it, the keyboard is the jdxi roland keyboard is was kind of like a rave machine <laughs> so but i um and i wanted to try i wanted it kind of for ambient music but it kind of pushes you to to embrace like there's drums in there so this this version this thing i did that you're about to hear for head has has some drums um so it's more electronic but i thought it was nice to like finish the series off with something a bit more upbeat with some rhythm it's still not like a crazy uh thing you know but i just wanted to to call that out and it it's been a good um project to rent this this keyboard it kind of like as i said it that i like i like when the the serendipity of renting equipment for like a week um what was the rate so for for about if i wanted this keyboard for a month it's about 50 50 dollars so for a week it was about 25 dollars and um but a week is is a difficult amount of time to work with equipment because you don't like I don't get a lot I didn't get a lot of opportunities to play with the keyboard 
but I would have to admit that it, it kind of took me off guard, caught me off guard. And I came up with a lot of little weird beats in it. So it's kind of up in the air. I, I have to decide if I will return it tomorrow or keep it for the rest of the month. Um, but uh, it was not really, it was not, I didn't really want this, this keyboard. So I just sent bringing this up because it's sometimes nice to be open to, I, I don't know, like if people work in other things, like for example, you're in a sport, if you're playing a lot of sports and there, and you, you know, you had your eye, eyes set on a, a certain golf club and, but the stores don't have that golf club. There's this other one. You kind of have to say, okay, the universe is giving me that device, that tool, and you try it out and then and see what comes up. So that's just a bit about why this track is is different. And yeah, otherwise, I thank you for for listening, being here, hanging out in my, in my original bedroom. It's been fun. And yeah, okay, we'll see you next week. Okay, uh, this is... Elliot Feinberg on Elliot's podcast and Head Lake in Algonquin Park. So you'll see that coming up right now. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.